Alright guys, coming to you today from the range with a brand new gun. It's not mine. Uh, a friend just bought this. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shoot it for him here. I worked him up some loads in another gun and he's wanting to see if it'll work for this one. So I mounted the scope. Uh, I got the loads here. We're gonna try them out, see what happens using the 140 grain Elite Hunters. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor. This is the Browning Hells Canyon. Uh, I believe it's the Speed model, the, the shorter barrel, real light model. It, uh, you know, it, it looks pretty good. We'll just, uh, we'll shoot it a couple times, and uh, this is to be the first shot out of it. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get on paper here at 100 yards, and then we'll go from there. But uh, overall, look of the gun. I mean, it looks pretty nice. Granted, you know, for the price, I guess it should be. Uh, the one thing that, that stuck out to me was I didn't necessarily like the, the trigger. It's right now, according to my trigger gauge, it's about three and three quarter pounds. That's a little heavy. Uh, you know, for a, for a hunting gun, in my opinion, I would like, I like them around two pounds or so for, you know, for hunting purposes. Uh, the safety here on the back, it's really easy, accessible. The magazine is, uh, the rotary style, which is starting to become popular, it looks like, because, you know, I've seen several other guns, uh, in the past year or two that are, are using these rotary style magazines. Um, it seems to work and function okay, you know, just cycling through it. Have it, like I said, this will be the first shots out of it. We'll see what happens. Um, being that it is light, it, it, it does come with a threaded muzzle. Uh, he has chose to not put anything on it at this time, which, you know, is probably going to stay that way. Um, but let's take a couple shots here and, well, let's see if we can get it on paper with the first one and we'll see what happens. Well, if my bore sighting went like that every time, it would be a lot quicker. Now, I feel that I've gotten a lot better with it over the past couple of years, but that is only about an inch and a quarter low and right from where I was aiming. So, uh, not too bad to start off with, but let's, uh, I'm going to stop you now. I'll get set up. We'll take a couple shots at uh, 200 yards, see how these loads shoot out of this gun, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm set up here, 200 yards. Uh, I'm going to take a couple shots, and with any luck, they'll all be you know, real close together, and I won't have to work up a new load for this gun. Uh, but we'll see what happens, so here we go. We do have a little bit of right-to-left crosswind today. It's not terrible, though. Alright guys, well I can tell you this, he's going to be happy. Uh, 
I'll try to show you a picture at the end of the video, but I would say those three shots are right at about an inch. Uh, so you're looking at half minute at 200 yards out of the second, third, and fourth shot out of this gun. Uh, I, mean, I think it probably speaks speaks pretty good of uh, the, the kind of quality that you're going to get with this gun. Now you guys know that I'm a Savage fan. I shoot a lot of Savage stuff, but I am not afraid to admit when you know other companies make high quality stuff and. You know, granted, for twelve hundred bucks, you're gonna get, you should get something that's pretty high quality, uh, and this Browning seems to uh, seems to fit the bill for that. So, all right, guys, uh, I think I'm done shooting this gun. Like I said, I'll give him a call. I think he's gonna be happy with uh, with how it's shooting, and uh, I won't have to load him up any more shells just yet. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and if you're in the market for a nice gun. Browning, Hell's Canyon Speed. It is, it is light. I will give it that. Uh, but I'll try to show a picture at the end of the video, just so you know uh, what kind of group I shot up there. So, all right, guys. Talk to you later. All right, guys. There's the uh, group that I promised I would uh, show you. At 200 yards, end up measuring 1.275 inches. So, uh, just a, a smidge over half minute. But like I said, that shots two, three, and four for that gun, and that's a load that I'd loaded up for a different gun. Uh, but it looks like it's going to work pretty decent for that one too, especially for a hunting gun. So, there it is, the uh, Browning Hell's Canyon Speed and 6.5 Creedmoor. Doesn't look like it's uh, going to be too bad of a shooter. Alright guys, thanks for watching.